Let's talk about Africa Bambada. The title of this video is called Let's Bring It Out. Being homosexual is wrong. The Bible says so. So anybody saying, oh, as long as it's consensual, it's okay. No, it's not okay. The Bible calls homosexuality an abomination. And it, it already tells you in the Bible, two men who sleep together, they to be cut off from their people, and they are to be destroyed. Meaning, destroyed meaning killed. They're to be killed. The Bible says that. So anybody, oh, it's wrong to kill homosexual people. Not according to the Bible. Yahweh wasn't playing about what he said. Okay. Um, getting back to Africa, Bambada. If the things are true about him, it's not okay to be homosexual. Not at all. It's not okay to molest little boys. Not at all. Teenage boys, that shit is not okay. It's not okay whatsoever. It's wrong. It's immoral. It's inhumane. It's insane. It's, it's everything bad that you can think of. It's an abomination. Either way you look at it. Whether a person is consenting, that's an adult, or they're a child that you're molesting. It is still wrong. It is still an abomination to Yahweh the Most High. Yahweh my Elohim. Now I know I'm going to get some people on my video going off for whatever reason. You mean nothing. I've already said this in numerous videos. Showing you this because I'm not going to stop talking about Yahweh. <laughs> Yahweh is the first, middle, last. He's everything to me. So, no. Anything that you say, it has no boundaries. It has no limits it has nothing to me it's like you might as well stop talking because i'm like a brick wall when you're talking to me i don't hear nothing if you ain't saying yahweh is the supreme creator you you ain't saying nothing <laughs> if you're not saying that homosexuality is an abomination you ain't saying nothing if you're not saying that africa bambada needs to go to trial you ain't saying nothing i'm irritated and frustrated and stressed out that for some odd freaking reason, Africa Bambada has, people think that he has the right to molest little boys. That shit is wrong as fuck. And then, they don't want you to curse about it. They don't want you to say nothing about it. One of the men was like, oh, just don't say nothing. What the fuck? You must be down with the shit then. If you remain in silent, you agree that it's okay for grown ass men to stick their penises in little boys' assholes. Which is some nasty motherfucking shit. Imagine if that was your son, or your little brother, or your brother, or, or, or somebody related to you. Would the shit be okay then? I bet not. But, why is Af Africa Bambada doing this? Even though he called himself part of the Zulu nation, I ain't ever heard of no gay Zulus. I'm just saying. That's some nasty ass fucking shit. That's where AIDS come from. See, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You don't educate yourself, you ain't gonna know that's where AIDS come from. Two men having sex together. <laughs> HIV and AIDS, that's where that shit come from. That's some nasty ass shit. Have, it, have anybody ever noticed men that have a boyfriend or a husband and they go around fucking all the time, they start to get, they start to lose flesh. All the time, they flesh just start to get real skinny. They just get bony as hell. They look like a walking fucking skeleton. And next thing you know, they die from AIDS. But it was fucking a man all the time. And Yahweh said, he's not mocked. You are. You think you ain't gonna pay for your sin? He said homosexuality is an abomination. And you gonna go around doing it? And then you gonna make young boys sin? They don't even fully understand? That homosexuality is a sin and an abomination at the same time? That's some evil and wicked ass shit, Africa Bambada. If you was going around doing that shit. And then you say, oh, people just trying to ruin my career. Africa Bambada, what career? When is the last time you came out with some fucking music? Because I ain't heard nothing. Period. I mean... When's the last time you came out and did something positive? Yahweh done stopped all of your shit. Why? He done stopped all of your fame. He done stopped all of your music. He done stopped everything. And now these allegations coming out because what you do in the dark does come to the light. What you think is not going to come to the light is coming to the light. And the best thing for you to do is tell the truth right now before the seat get too hot for your ass to handle. 
And your ass need to be given a death penalty if you did this shit. I'm just saying. If you did this shit, you need to be given a death penalty. You need to die for this shit. Because you ruined somebody's mentality. People trying to be with their wives and they thinking about you doing some fuck shit to them. And that's some fuck shit. You damn right. Anybody want to know where I'm from? I'm from the state of Florida. And we don't bullshit down here. We don't give a fuck if we hurt your feelings. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit in the South. And people, oh, Florida's not the South. What the fuck is it then? We at the bottom. We are the deep South. Because we the deepest. We at the bottom. Now, everybody up over us, they might play with your motherfucking feelings and be, oh, well, you know. Nah, we ain't doing that motherfucking shit down here. We gonna give it to you just like it motherfucking is, blood ass raw. And then, if you going around molesting and raping boys still, you need to stop. You need to repent. Your ass going, you gonna die anyway. And you gonna fuck with the wrong person, and they gonna stab your ass to death, Africa Bambata, if you been going around doing this shit. I don't know you. Because like I said, I was born in 1990. I don't know you. But I ain't never heard of no gay Zulus. So, I don't know how the fuck you calling yourself the Zulu Nation. Never heard of no gay Zulus. Never know Shaka Zulu to be gay. Never. Never heard that shit in my fucking life. Never known his brother to be gay. Never heard of that shit in my fucking life. Shaka Zulu was a Zulu fucking warrior. What about a Zulu warrior is raping a little black boy that looks like you? Bitch, what you just said to everybody in the black community, if you were molesting these boys, you just said, fuck y'all, y'all ain't my people. I side with my white slave master, because that's what the white slave masters was doing. The, the ones that was homosexual, that's what they was doing to their male slaves. You just sided with your white slave master. You goddamn right I said it, and I don't give a fuck how you feel about it, bitch. I don't care if you cry. Motherfucking cry to you. And what you gonna do? Not a motherfucking thing. Not shit. If your ass been going around molesting little boys for 30 years or over, your ass need to die. Period, Africa Bambata. <laughs> it's plain and simple. The Bible says that homosexuality is an abomination. And I've been trying my hardest not to do this type of video. But everybody that's saying this shit is okay, this shit is not fucking okay. If he was doing the shit, if he wasn't doing the shit, if he's just gay, that shit is motherfucking wrong. Oh, they got laws against... All of this, they got laws for homosexual marriage. I don't give a fuck. Yahweh ain't never said that that shit was okay. He called it an abomination. Period. For all of the victims, man, for somebody to do that to you and rob you of your innocence and take all that shit from you that made you a special person, just understand and know that doesn't make you a homosexual. And you ain't lost yourself. That person that was doing that shit to you, they lost they self though a long fucking time ago. And they ain't trying to get they self back. That person has no fucking remorse. So all of the victims, you already know that person has no remorse. You already know the motherfucker that was living with that motherfucker. As a grown ass man, he has no remorse. He might as well have been raping y'all too or molesting y'all too. Because that's some stank, that's some stank ass shit. It don't stink. That motherfucking shit stank. It's so motherfucking foul and cold and cold hearted and cold blooded. They might as well be fucking white men. They can't even call themselves black for allowing some motherfucking shit like that to happen. Sorry. No. I'm going to speak out against that shit because that shit is fucking wrong. Period. I'm done with this video. It's longer than a motherfucker. But I had to say that shit. Homosexuality is wrong. It's called an abomination in the Bible. I don't give a fuck who get mad. You get on YouTube, talk shit. I don't give a fuck what you do. You're not going to stop me from saying that shit. Every time I do a video about homosexuality, it's an abomination. No, it's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be homosexual. It's not okay to do none of that shit. Because your ass finna get AIDS. Little do you know it or not. Your ass start dropping weight. Fucking legs and shit start hurting. You are slowly deteriorating and you fucking your own body up. You committing slow fucking suicide when you have sex with another man and you a man. So Africa Bambata, if he did it, he deserved a death penalty for it. Now do he need to repent? Yes. Stop being a homosexual? Yes. But honestly, going to prison? He'll be right at home. If he's a child molester, 
or if he's gay, he'll be right at fucking home. He'll have a wonderful time up in there. I'm just being fucking honest and I'm just being motherfucking for real and straight up. And people, oh, why people cuss and then they say Yahweh? Because I believe in Yahweh. But I'm not finna spare your feelings because you don't think I should cuss. I'm too, I'm too intelligent for that. Yeah, whatever. I'm intelligent, but I'm still gonna use curse words when I feel like it. Because that's my prerogative. Just letting you know. For anybody that's watching this video saying that, when you get mad, do you always use things that make you sound articulate? No. You start using curse words. Get fucking real. <sighs> and I'm done with this video. Anybody come at me with some god with, with some goddamn dumbass comments? I promise you, I promise you, it's gonna be motherfucking on. And you better hope that whatever you say be truthful. Cause I'll give you the links, the sites, whatever the fuck you need. To prove your ass wrong. And then I get on and do another motherfucking response video. To let you know that you ain't right about none of the shit that you just said. And I'm done.